everyone and welcome back to a fresh fit and healthy YouTube channel sorry for being so sporadic I know I used to have a regular upload schedule and now it's kind of just like when I have the time and when I have a thought here I am but today is special because according to my time hop app yes time hop is great for reminding you of things that happened years ago so TBT today to the day I won the state championship race my senior year of high school in cross country and I just like I don't know it just made me think of a lot of things and it made me think of how I had to mentally overcome and mentally believe in myself to achieve such a high and lofty goal that I had set for myself and so that is what we're talking about today so I just wanted to share a little bit of my story give you some tips and also lead you over to my blog post where I go more in depth in the story and everything and leave you off on my interview video post race. It was the five year anniversary of the day that I won the state championship in cross country. I'm making this video because of a lesson I learned from it. It's like never allow what others believe or what others are saying dictate like what you think you're capable of and what and like how much you believe in yourself because five years ago I was having a very hard year in cross country it was my senior year and I wasn't doing well and they interviewed me before the state race in an article the week before and they were like you know you are your time is ranked 28th in the state and you are kind of like not in the running for the title. You're not really in the running for the top five. What are your thoughts on this? And I was like, gee, thanks. Um, no, I know that my times haven't been the best. I know that I just haven't been doing the best this season. But I also know what I'm capable of. And I know that with God's strength that all things are possible. And so I'm excited to see what happens this weekend. And here I am. I'm on the win. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, but so, yeah. So here I am five years later. And I finished that state race number one. And it wasn't because of anything else, but because I believed in myself and I believed in God for giving me strength and I'm just making this video right now because I want to let you guys know that no matter what your rankings are or whether this is like a fitness goal an athletic goal a career goal or just like a personal goal that you have overcome the obstacle in your mind that is telling you that you can't reach it because everything in my world at that time was telling me that there was no way possible that I was going to win that race. And until I mentally overcame and mentally said to myself that I have, I can win, I will win, and all things are possible, there was no way I was going to win that race. But because, not by choice, but there's many times I told myself I couldn't win and my mom actually made me, every time I said something negative, say five things that were positive. So that is one tip for becoming mentally strong and for believing in yourself. But for the other four tips that I offer, head to the blog post below and along with just the whole story about overcoming and I include both articles before and after the state race that were written about me first one saying I was ranked 28th and the second one saying wow the biggest excitement of the day was when you won because that was not expected <laughs> so head on over to the blog post linked below for that and I'm gonna end you guys off with the state championship interview post winning video because it kind of just shows you my excitement shows you how I wasn't ranked number one at all <laughs> but whether you believe that you can or you believe that you can't, you're right. You're gonna be right if you believe that you can't do it because if you're telling yourself mentally that you can't do it, you won't be able to do it. So whether it's a fitness goal, a career goal, a personal goal, anything, believe that you can do it. Like set your mind to it and 
mentally believe in yourself and believe that it's possible because anything is possible and I promise you that and it's so cool looking back and reminding myself of that now that I have new goals and I tend to get distracted and frustrated and down on myself for not thinking I'm gonna be able to reach them and then I get reminders like this saying that Sarah come on look at your past and know that you can accomplish these goals know that you're capable of it so that is what I have for you guys today head on over to my blog post it is linked down below for more of my story on the state race more of just some tips and yeah just tips on how to become more mentally strong and how to believe in yourself. So that is all I have for you guys today. If you didn't see my post on Instagram and you aren't following me on Instagram, follow me at Fresh Fit and Healthy. And yeah, click the thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you aren't already. And comment below what you want to see here on Freshman Healthy YouTube. But until then, thank you so much for all of your support and love and motivation and encouragement. I love you guys all. Bye. Here with uh, Sarah Spann, your uh, 3A state champion from Fort Myers. I mean, Sarah, kind of talk about, I know you were, you were focused for this race, but I mean, 17.45 and, and, and state champion, how does it feel? It feels awesome, and I have God to thank for it. He was my strength today, and I'm just so happy. I just came out here just to run my own race for once, and I guess I got what I wanted. I'm not going to lie, I knew you were going to be up there, but on my list I had uh, Lily Williams, I had Carly Thomas. I mean, I, 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 I knew I wasn't a favorite to win for sure, but you know what, I just knew what I was capable of. My coach told me all season what I was capable of, and I finally just put together, put it together. I mean, I mean, it was the Charles girls, the Darren Angel off from Pine Forest, and it, and it was it was Grace. I mean, yeah. they were up there with me, and then it seemed like you know they faded back. It was a pack of four, and then it was a pack of three, and you were a good 20 yards ahead. I mean, are you surprised with you know the lead you have? I honestly did not expect it to be like that. I thought for sure it was going to be a pack to the end. But um, I just knew what I wanted, and right after they dropped back, I just was like, all right, Terry, just got to go and never look back. So I finally just took the chance that my coach has been telling me to do all season. I heard your coach is kind of in your ear about the two-mile mark, you know, telling you to pick it up and finish the race. I mean, when did you, when did it kind of sink in, like, hey, you know, I might have this? When I came out of the field, because the field's my weak point every single year, and so, like, I was so scared going into that. And when I came out of the field and I saw the stretch in front of me, I was just like, it's mine, Terry, you got it, just keep going. And I just keep going, and that's when I finally said in that I had it. And if I just kept going, what does this kind of do? I know you're going to pull out here in a week. What does this kind of do for the momentum? I mean, like you just said, you didn't think you'd be up there, and now you're now you're a state champion. You know, pretty good, you know, group of girls. And now you're about to go against the best of the South East. I have no idea what to expect. I was honestly just going to go to Foot Locker for fun. But I mean, now I'm just going to go race it and see what happens. So now you're, now you're actually going to go out there and try a little bit? <laughs> what, uh, well, what kind of college? When, when do you think you know where you'll go or, or when um, you'll announce that? Or? Probably pretty soon. I know I have, like, my favorite in mind that I announce you at. And so, I mean, I'm pretty set on that unless something else just weirdly happens. But we'll see.